an island in West Bengal. I'm talking about a small island of the Sundarban Delta which is surrounded by the Bay of Bengal on three sides and a river on one side. Located in Namkhana, Moshini Island is among one of the offbeat places to visit near Kolkata as it is not much explored by tourists so you can expect less crowd throughout the year. In this video, we will talk about how to reach Moshini Island, where to stay, what to expect and the total cost for a two days trip. Let's pack some stuff for this trip. Now let's talk about how to reach this place. Moshuni Island is 120 kilometers from Kolkata which takes approximately 3 to 4 hours to reach. We went by car taking the Badwipur Amtala road. We also stopped in between to have some breakfast and enjoyed the clean roads lined up with trees. After crossing the Namkhana bridge, we reached Patibunya Ghat after 30 minutes. Then we took a boat to cross the river which costed Rs 10 per head and then a toto to reach our pre-booked campsite which costed Rs 25 per head. I will give a full budget breakdown later in the video. You can also choose train or bus route. I will mention all the details in the description box below so do check that out. We parked our car here which is near the Patibunya Ghat. And I wrapped myself up with a scarf because the sun was shining too bright and I didn't want it to tan. Now let's talk about where to stay in this island. This island has two types of accommodation, mud houses or cottages and tents. We booked a mud house for our stay. There are no luxury hotels on this island, so expect basic amenities and enjoy living in the lap of nature. Do book your accommodation in advance as you might not get on the spot bookings. The Toto ride was for about 30 minutes and then we reached the dolphin camp site wherein we booked a mud house. There are three mud houses, one bamboo house and the rest are tents in this campsite. The mud house on the right named Kush written in Bengali is where we will be staying. This is the balcony and the walls are completely hand painted. The rooms also has hand painted walls giving it that ethnic look. Now let's go and check out the tents. way to go down to the beach. Hello, so this is the mud house that we'll be staying in for the next two days. It looks so pretty. So it was about four to five hours drive from Kolkata to Namkhana. Then we had to take a boat and then another 30 minutes on an auto rickshaw or a toto. And then we reached this area. And right now we'll go have lunch and it already started raining so heavily. So it kept raining the whole day and we could not go down to the beach. We spent our time in the mud house enjoying the view and it felt as if we went back in time. With the ethnic painted mud houses, the rain and the splashing sound of the ocean waves, it felt so lively. In the evening, the mud houses looked even more beautiful with the yellow lights. It still kept raining at night, so we just stayed inside, had dinner and called it a day. The next morning we woke up to heavy rain and stormy wind. 
We planned this trip in the month of August, which is in the monsoon, so we had to face this kind of weather. But I just wanted to take a break and travel somewhere for the weekend, so this was kind of a sudden plan. So don't plan a trip to a beach destination during the monsoon season. The best time to visit Moshuni Island is from October to mid-April. The rain finally stopped so we decided to head to the beach but look at that mud. It became so sticky and slippery. The storm destroyed most of the adjoining areas along with the stairs that were built from our campsite to go down to the beach. They tried to make a quick fix but it did not work so we took off our shoes and dug our feet into the mud and walked all the way to the beach. It was quite risky as the mud was very slippery but we helped each other out and we could finally reach the beach. Hey, so I just had dinner and it's the last evening in this mud house and today also it's been raining since morning but at about 3 or 4 pm the rain finally stopped and we could go down to the beach but the area got very muddy and slippery we had to do a lot of adventure to get down to the beach but we really had a fun time when we finally reached the beach area and coming to the booking cost so the mud house costed us rupees 1600 per person per day which includes the breakfast lunch and dinner and also evening snacks you can also rent out the tents over here they have a lot of tent accommodation over here and they also have a bamboo house and the tent accommodation cost rupees 1200 per person per day and the bamboo house is for rupees 1500 per person per day so here is the total cost breakdown of the trip. So that's about the booking costs and tomorrow we'll be checking out in the morning from here. And if you're looking for a budget small trip for two to three days, then you can try this place out for a fun weekend. Today we will be checking out and thankfully it's not raining so we can travel safely. Let's check out the beach before leaving. And here's a montage of a return journey. <laughs> 